Welcome to Digging with Deej. Um, we are going to do something a little different. I'm at Dollar Tree. And I am going to be looking for treasure hunting tools and accessories on the cheap. So let's go shopping. toolbox you could use for a first aid kit to keep in your car. When I go bottle digging, I wrap my wrists with this to make sure I don't get poison ivy, poison sumac. A little trick tip there, and I buy it here at Dollar Tree. And then your disinfecting wipes, of course. Hand sanitizer that'll fit in your first aid kit. Hydrocortisone cream for bug bites. Triple antibiotic cream. A little mini first aid kit. It's got 21 items in it. Mostly bandages and something to clean your wound. Let's see what all is in it. It's a travel size. This is what it has in it. So that's a start to your first aid kit. You normally have a small bottle of sunscreen, but I don't see any. It's kind of late. Even though it's not summer yet, I think they've already sold out. Prone to knee or ankle injuries. You've got a support you can keep in your car just in case you wrench your ankle. Have you ever had a problem when you get back from metal detecting for a weekend and your hands are so dry and chafed. This stuff is fantastic. Scissors for your first aid kit. Some kind of mint. Peppermint. I normally do the red and white peppermints. I keep a few in my first aid kit in case any friends of mine that are diabetic, if their sugar drops too low, you can give them a peppermint to bring the numbers back up. Everything you need to fill and make your own first aid kit. Packages of Kleenex. You never know when you're going to be out in the middle of a cornfield and all of a sudden you got to go. It's either that or Riser's Treasure Hunting Emporium toilet paper. I usually have tarps. They are out of tarps, and I cover the back of my hatchback car with tarps. But you could also cover your floor with these. They're like felt rug things. Or these. That would be an inexpensive option. There's some cool bins that you could organize your treasure hunting items in the back of your car. Retractable. These are card holders. But they would work for making your own. Um, I use a bungee cord. And I attach it to this, and I attach this to my pants or my machine or my uh, finds bag, so I don't lose my pin pointer. Bungee cords for making your own um, your own tool to uh, attach to your bag, so you don't lose your pin pointer. Light up magnifier. Batteries a 
of course. Got stylus pens for editing your videos. This is a dish drying net. It's got a pattern on one side and a solid color on the other side. So I use the solid color to film my metal detecting and body digging finds. A finds box. It's kind of big, but it's a finds box. For those of you that detect with backpacks, shipping boxes, shipping bags. suitable for smaller magnets. Dollar store drop cloth. In case you get caught in the rain with a detector that is not waterproof, you can cover you and your detector until the storm passes. And they normally, I don't see it, but they normally have a fold-up root saw. They normally carry that, and I don't see it here. Um, for creek walking, you got your pickup tool. Inexpensive, multi-purpose used pocket knife. Vinyl bags for bottle digging. Perfect for a sifter at a dump. Just the right size for dry earth. Metal detecting and bottle digging gloves. These are heavy duty too. Gotta get some of those. Got a spray bottle. For metal detecting. Jars for marbles. Different kind. Some guys just like to carry a container to put their coins in. They find the coin shooters, stick it in their pocket. That's perfect. It's soft. It's not hard. It's like rubbery. So it might be protect your coins better. These pill boxes will actually fit a large scent in them. So that would be a smaller finds box. Or smaller yet, but I don't think a large scent would fit in that. Or different types of reading glasses for looking closer at your coins after you dig them up. Ring displays to display your rings on. Another ring holder, brass one, easels to display your finds on. These are good for uh, electrolysis. In the craft aisle. And we've got these domes which you could display something inside there. Antique bottles or whatever that you don't want to have to dust for a buck. Let's see what else we got down this aisle. Paint pens, gold painting, little bottles, or even for your tiny stones when you're rock hunting. Hmm. Cheap picture frames for pictures of your events that you've gone to. Flashlight, small flashlight to get a better side view of a coin if you can't read it. Inexpensive headlamp, which Don and I used at Flash Bash. To use as rags or pull your hair back. Rain poncho. And 
water, of course. Small snacks. Nuts are a good snack. Um, they also carry walnuts. Almonds, walnuts. Sunflower seeds. Peanuts. Favorite snack, walnuts. Protein snacks. Nine grams of protein. In the spring, they have the foam knee pads and the digging tools, which you could use bottle digging. And normally in the summer, they have the pool noodles for a buck a piece, which I didn't see any. I think they sold out of them. So before each season comes into being, check for these items if they're something you think you might be interested in. And then I've always got to get my notebooks for my brainstorming. Nail brushes. To clean your fingernails after metal detecting. Well, I hope you found my video helpful. Um, some tools for treasure hunting on the cheap. Um, many of these items I use myself when I first started treasure hunting until I could afford to buy the tools that I really wanted. That way I could save up for them. So hopefully this is helpful to treasure hunters, uh, beginners, as well as seasoned hunters. And I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you soon.